Hey guys, today I'm gonna to make a breakfast cheeseburger. It's gonna be fantastic. All right guys, welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. We love it when you stop by, spend a few moments out of your day to watch some of our videos. Speaking of watching our videos, folks, it doesn't cost a penny to hit that subscribe button, folks. No money is coming out of pocket whatsoever. It's gonna help us out more than you know. So please, folks, smash that subscribe button, then hit that thumbs up. It also helps us a lot. It's not gonna cost you a thing, folks. So what I got here is my Cuisinart 360 cooking station. It's a small size, I think it's 28 inch cooking surface. It's slightly convex, concave or whatever, and it kind of drips off into the, drips off the grease into kind of a little round ring around there. And I'll hit some B-roll so you can see that. It's a really handy thing to have. We've had it for a few years and uh, I really like it a lot. I love a good smash burger, who doesn't? I also love a great breakfast sandwich. You know, one of those McBacon, McMuffins too from McDonald's. Hey, we all have been there, guys. But I wanna combine the two. How do you do that? You go in the McDonald's drive-thru and unless you're there by 10.30 or 11, you're not gonna get no lunch. I think it'd be neat if they combined a cheeseburger, and <laughs> McBacon, cheese thing, whatever, you know, that'd be awesome. I'm gonna take a smash burger and I'm gonna combine it with a few things that we consider breakfast food and then I'm gonna make one hell of a breakfast smash burger. Okay, so guys, what I got here, some 80-20 beef. This is the cornerstone for a great smash burger. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take some bacon, thick cut cured bacon, and I'm just gonna get a head start on that. I'm gonna take it to our cooler side, which is to you the left side, to me it's the right side. And I'm just gonna take a couple pieces there. All right, some of the other ingredients I'm gonna use are some bagels. Now these are Sara Lee Deluxe uh, Everything Bagels. I used to call them junk bagels. Obviously, we got a hole in them, right? That might be a problem, but uh, you know, if you dig down in the bag, you can usually find one that's got a nice closed up hole, kind of like that. And that's one I'm gonna go for. Now these are actually pre-cut, and, um, and that's what I'm gonna use. Now when you really look at it, the holes ain't that big. I think any uh, good stuff on there is gonna help kind of work that out. So. so while that bacon's going, I'm just gonna lightly butter up these bagels, folks, because uh, what is the second thing that you gotta have on a great smash burger besides the meat? Yep, that's right. You gotta have toasted buns, okay? Now, best place for these bagels are a toaster, I know. Uh, I'm not gonna pull out the toaster. I could, I thought about it, but um, not really interested in that. So I'm just gonna toast them just like that. You guys stick around because later on I'm gonna show you what's gonna set this breakfast smash burger apart from all the rest. Okay, let's see how these, these are toasting up really nice. Now I'm not gonna get them all the way toasted on one side before I give the other side a chance to uh, warm up here. Okay, now over to the meat. Again, like I said, 80-20 is the ratio of fat to meat or to protein that you want. Okay, well it's all protein, I guess. Um, and also, while you're at it, get yourself some beef that's been run through a processor to make all these little spaghetti-shaped things. All the extra cracks and crevices and nooks are gonna give more surface area for that meat to sizzle and create a beautiful, awesome tasting crust, guys. Got a couple balls of beef. I didn't weigh these, um, but I'm gonna call them almost the size of a golf ball, a little bit bigger than a golf ball, uh, between a golf ball and a racquetball, maybe a cue ball, okay? About that big, guys. But I'm gonna set these aside because these cook fast. At this point, it's kind of a preference whether you want to use crispy bacon, uh, or what, but I'm gonna move this over here, try to speed up the cooking process a little bit. Now I got a hot zone over here and a cool zone over here. Okay, now this is a request from Sassy. We've got some hash browns and these little round things and I'm just gonna throw them on here and get them warmed up. Okay, slide those over here to the bacon grease. See how that bacon grease worked out, guys? Yeah, it's gonna be nice. All right guys, well that bacon's crisping up and those hash browns are coming up to temperature, making sure not to burn the buns. Just get them crispy, guys, don't burn them. Uh, I'm gonna make some 
some sauce. So I'm gonna take some Japanese mayo, fill up this little carafe a little bit, okay? And then everybody's secret ingredient that's not so much a secret anymore, sriracha sauce, guys. Get you some of that. Squirt it on there, add as much as you want to get that texture you want, and then just mix it up. Something like that. Okay, now you see here, guys, this uh, bacon is doing a nice little coating of grease here, and that's what I'm gonna drop those smash burgers into. Okay, these buns are pretty good, so I'm gonna set these aside. All right, guys, so I'm gonna push that bacon off to the side a little bit. Now I know I got a cool zone over here, so I'm gonna use this little digital thermometer to find it. Seems like right on the edge is the hottest. Strangely enough, the more you go into the middle, it gets cooler sometimes. It's probably my one complaint about this Cuisinart. It's not an even zone, so you really gotta know your surface. All right, guys, before I get too far into the smash burgers, I'm going to put a little bit of oil over here. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do my best to do a couple over hard eggs. Don't forget guys, got a secret ingredient you gotta watch for. Okay, now for seasoning, I got basically a salt, pepper, and Uncle Steve's spicier mix, about equal parts, and I'm just gonna dust those eggs with a little bit of it, and the hash browns. Bacon does fine on its own. Now that's the secret, guys, to a well put together burger of any kind is season at every step, just a little bit. Now, I'm gonna put the smash burgers on. I'm just going to drop these balls down. First, I'm going to get a little bit more oil here. And on they go. Now, when you smash them, get yourself some of these little patty packs, um, patty paper, okay? And of course, some seasoning. Okay. I'm gonna let those sizzle for a little bit while I turn over these eggs. All right. Each one gets patty paper. I know my, this might be hard to come by for some people, but this little section of railroad tie is perfect for smashing. And you wanna hold it eh, for about four or five seconds. And release. And release. And you can just take off that paper there, toss it away. These eggs look pretty good, so I'm just gonna set these aside here. Into a cooler zone, let them finish cooking. Put some of that sauce on there. Okay. Don't skimp. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna flip them. Okay, for cheese today, guys, you can use any kind you want. I know Sassy loves his Colby Jack, sliced Monterey Jack and uh, Colby. So I'm gonna accommodate her. And each patty's gonna get a slice of cheese. There we go. And it's just about ready, guys. Now here's for the surprise you guys have been waiting for, avocado. Guys, right off of our tree here, a freshly ripened avocado, just where it turns color, and it's got a little bit of squeeze to it. This is gonna be wonderful. All right, let's put it together. What I did is I turned this off, but on this side, which is just fine. First one. 
There we go. A little bit of that bacon. Egg. And a piece of meat. A little hot, guys, so I'm gonna have to push this off here. A little bit more bacon. Oh, that's okay. There we go. A little bit more egg. I'm going to sauce up the top bun. All about layers of flavor, guys. Layers of flavor. Salt and pepper. And here we go with the avocado. Twist. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Off our tree. There we go, guys. I love fresh avocado, guys. There's nothing like it. Guys, I know this is what you want to see. Let's cut it down in the middle. That's gonna be dangerous, guys. I should use the bigger knife. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, guys, I'm going in. Mm. Oh yeah, guys. Get yourself a rag. Mm. This tastes great. That sriracha sauce, Japanese mayo, the bacon, the eggs, and the smash burgers with the cheese. It's all just coming together. Not to mention the bagel. Mm. It's fantastic. Mm. That was beautiful. If only somebody would start making this, man, I'd buy it. Thanks for watching another uh, episode of Greenhorn Barbecue Beer. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. And be sure to tell me down in the comments what you think of this breakfast smash burger. Show us pictures of your own over on our Greenhorn Barbecue Beer Discussions page on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or all these other places. And folks, again, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next cook.